Hi guys, hope you are doing well. And in this video, I'm going to discuss about the three month block strategy. I'm going to share you the three month block strategy for your IT2025 and also going to tell you how you should follow this block strategy to bring out the maximum output from this uh, strategy. Okay. And I know I have not made a video from a long time, but let us keep it aside and get back to the video. So block strategy in the sense I have divided into the three columns. Uh, first will be the most uh, important chapters second will be the important chapter like and third will be the least but you should do it because you have a lot of time like january february march and april i'm considering april also or if you are smart enough or you can do it in a faster way then just keep april and consider january february and march and do it okay so april and may and june ka aadha mahina you will get for your uh, mock test and other preparations also uh, for iit 2025 right so in this video, I have made a three columns. It is lot more similar to the uh, two month block strategy, which I have shared last year for IT2024 aspirants. Okay. So, and somewhat the chapters, uh, like uh, what we say, chapters alignment is same only. Like the importance will be the same, but I have made some changes because you have a lot of time. So, I have made some changes. So, you will uh, grab maximum of, of the chapters in a uh, given time, right? Because you have a lot of time. So, let us begin the strategy okay i will share the pdf of this uh, blog strategy in the comment section uh, go uh, click the link and you just download it okay so let me explain you how this blog strategy works and how you should follow it so now i have made the first column of the physics right the first row is of a physics so in the first row uh, you can see the first chapter lnm and friction now what you'll do is start with the nlm and friction you are starting with nlm and friction now after completing nlm and friction you will jump to the GOC, uh, uh, our general organic chemistry, the chemistry chapter, and simultaneously you will do vector calculus. Now, what you are doing is GOC and vector calculus, right? Now, once you complete GOC, you will jump to the mass chapter that is set relation and function, and simultaneously you will start periodic table plus kinematics. At this point, you are doing kinematics plus periodic table plus set relation function, right? Now, after completing SRF, that is set relation functions, you will jump to the biology section that is set. Okay. And uh, simultaneously, you will do the quadratic and complex, the second thing. Right. So, likewise, uh, in the physics also, you will jump to the next chapter and chemistry also next chapter. And for maths also, you will jump to the next, cha next chapter and biology also next chapter. So, you will uh, get all the four uh, chapters of each subjects uh, simultaneously you are studying. Right. So, this is the way you should follow the block strategy and also uh, i would like to tell you this that if you are a pcm student or a pcb student i would recommend you to do a maths if you are a bio student and to do a bio if you are a math student uh, not the whole chapters of all the subjects like the maths or bio but the important ones and i have made a video on the important chapters too and i will also make one new video on it for new aspirants because i know a lot of them will not go to the old videos and search for it so i have to make a new video for it so yeah, this is what the overall block strategy for a three month looks like. Now you, the remaining two months, the April, May and half of the June month, you should prepare uh, like completely, give full length mock test, uh, make some new strategies, what you should uh, attempt first, like what subject you should attend first in your exam. You should analyze your papers also. And most importantly, you will do all the PYQ papers also. And one more thing to mention here, when you are doing each chapters and LM plus, plus friction, likewise all the chapters like this is this is applicable for all the chapters uh, that once you do a chapter you should do a concept for of, of that chapter also you you should do the most important questions of that chapters uh, pyqs of iit chapters and some more je question it's not mandatory but if you are doing it's well and good because at this point you will do once uh, the pyq of iit like uh, one time you will do it but when you complete all this block at last moment when you are going to solve the pyq uh, previous year paper of iit uh, you have already solved this question and now you are re-attempting the paper like the full length paper it will really help you to resolve the questions and if you are not able to solve the question you will able to get it that where you are going wrong and this chapter is weak for me and i have to revise it again so that idea you will get so this, keep this in mind that you should do uh, pyqs of iit uh, while you are doing the chapters okay and yeah, that's it for this video. I will uh, share the PDF of this blog strategy in the comment section. Do refer it and also give me some more suggestion on what topic you needed a video. So I will uh, in future, I will make a video on that. And till then, bye bye and keep studying back.